Hello, welcome back to Zafiro Sounds. Uh, if you've watched my uh, first uh, 2017 uh, jam song, whatever you want to call it, this video I'm going to try and explain how I went about doing it and some of the processes that I used to get the sounds that I got. Um, so hopefully it'll be interesting and uh, keep watching. Cheers. Hello, so um, I might as well start with the beginning, how I came up with the track and what sort of started it. Um, it was a, a patch that I'd created on the um, MS-2000 and the 2000R. Um, you can only hear the MS-2000 uh, playing there, but they've been run by the uh, beat step. Um, I chose a harmonic minor um, scale because I, it's a scale I've used a lot over the years and I like it so um, and I basically just came up with a simple um, so it was it was using both synths um, and I just put that into the sequence so patch I created um, is using LFOs to take up the uh, take the cut off in and out so it's sort of like a sweeping sound um, so you've got a cut off LFO on the MS2000 and a cut off LFO on the, on the 2000R as well and I'm using the delays and effects as well on there um, so you get this sort of fades away and sort of layered up um, so that was the initial idea so when I got that going, I could sort of hear these nice sort of like gentle percussive sounds in my head. So I decided to start programming the drum brute, which is a, a, a new addition to the studio. And let's get that one going. Just mute that. And I, and I just heard this dum dum. So I, sat, I put in the bass drum and it's fairly deep. And I put a lot of effects on it from my Lexicon, uh, which is down here. I've got a sort of like a spacey reverb, fairly short, and, and a delay on the mixture there. Um, and also uh, the zoom uh, uh, delay. But just on the drum kit, it's just got the reverb on there. So it's quite spacey, you can hear it going to this, you know, the stereo field. And I, I heard the, the claves in there. So a little little things like that and I just slightly gradually built it up it's sort of like little call and answer um, bits so it's like tat tat and then a, another instrument does another tat tat and it's sort of like a put the toms in there just for a little bit of difference we've got this little sort of really gentle drum kit that's going off there and on a couple of the um, instruments on the open hat I've put some randomness on there um, about 20 randomness on the hat so you get these little tick -tick -tick bits in, in between and also on the cymbal as well I've got a randomness of 15 on that and it just it just kind of adds these little bits and pieces that you don't have to program it, it sort of carries it along a bit better I think it sounds all right um, so if we get those in together So that, that, was the that was the initial idea, um, but we'll start at the beginning of the track now, um, so that's not in at the beginning, we've got uh, mute all the drums, apart from the claves, and I've also got a sound from the um, 777, which I programmed, it's a little percussive loop, um, so I've put that in on the step sequencer here. And we'll listen to that now. So that's the that's a 777. So sort of like a percussive thing, and that's going through the reverb and the uh, zoom effects. And you've got some control over it if you wanted to. But I just wanted a little simple little percussive sound in the background. 
sort of atmospheric. So that's why I kept that simple. And then the other sound I've got going on there is from the um, virus, which is another pad that I created using the uh, virus editor on the computer. Um, and if we get that one in there, it's on channel four. Start it again, there we go. So like a spaced out pad noise. And in turn that was going with the clave on the drum brute. Little tick tink there. So that was the beginning of the track. And also, um, I think I've got the sound from the uh, Electribe 2, which is a, is a, which is this sound. And this one is, uh, it's called Plonky. And it was just, I just, again, it was just something I just heard in, in my head and I thought I'll just try it in there. And I put lots and lots of mod, uh, mod delay on it. The uh, effect I'm using for going to the venue is mod delay, and I, I think it's probably the the best effect on this machine. To be fair, uh, I think it's great. It's great for getting good stereo atmosphere. So I've basically got that on full. I think on uh, somewhere up here on the X on the XY pad. So that little plonky there is what's giving me some sort of building sound. I can use the cutoff on the frequency and it sort of gives it some building effect and also the the uh, edit button uh, edit knob on the Electribe 2 this gives it some distortion you've got to check every single time you use an oscillator on the Electribe just see what the edit button edit knob does because it does something different for every single sound but for this one it sort of gives it some nice this is some nice sort of uh, distortion and you can hear that fading away with the mod delay so that was the, the next atmosphere that I added so as we build it as I built it up and then I fetched in the uh, I fetched in the kick and the toms and we also fetched in the MS2000 Straight away you're building an atmospheric sound and um, I didn't actually, actually have the intention of uh, singing on, on the track but it was just something that happened spontaneously um, so the vocals which is the next thing that came in I might as well show you those um, basically uh, going using uh, using my mixer we're going through the preamp of the um, Onyx, uh, Mackie Onyx, and I'm using the uh, reverb as well and the delay from the zoom, but also I'm using a few plugins on the uh, through Ableton. So I'm literally um, using Ableton as a send effect as well. So in Ableton, uh, put that on auto um, so that it, it, it monitors uh, my vocals. If we go to find the vocal part, which is here, and on that vocal part, I've got a, uh, a, a Maserati um, VX1, which is I've shaped using using the controls. It's a little preset that I've I've programmed. Uh, um, for for my voice, uh, I've got also got a a, a chorus, uh, an Ableton chorus on there. Um, uh, stock plugin, and also on the uh, as a send effect in Ableton, I've got the H delay as well, uh, which again is another layer. So get them get the mic out. You've got these. You've got these several layers of effects, and it gives you more atmosphere, and it sort of blends in with the rest of the track. Uh, because I've obviously got uh, the Ableton running from the external sequencer, which is the engine.
so everything is in sync which is very important to get things sounding nice and, and clear and you know and, and not not sort of jumbled up um, so if we move on now to after the singing bit I'm fetching another sound um, that again that is on the uh, access virus so I've just mute these parts we've got the build up part there and then I've got uh, another sound that I programmed uh, it's on program 3 part 3 uh, bass 7 I've called it so we'll get rid of that It's like a nice sort of bass noise. And again, I've got sort of, I've got effects from the virus, um, which are again, it's like a, a long delay. You can hear it sort of, it's quite a fast delay. Just again, to give it a different texture to the other delays. And just program it using the virus. But I've also got a little bit of the global reverb from the lexicon as well because it, it sort of brings all the sounds together. If you, if you have a little bit of that reverb in the background and a little bit of reverb on this and everything else, it sort of brings all the, all the little elements together a bit more. So that was the next thing that I added. So I'll get back into it. And then uh, I think I did a bit more singing there. Um, and then we moved on to uh, another element from the Electribe. I sort of heard it. Uh, a, a, a melody in my head because it was from a another track um, that I'd heard some time ago, uh, and I, I, I've not done it exactly the same. I, f I forget what sound. I think it's DJ Shadow track. Do, 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 do. But anyway, I did a something similar, but not the same. Um, so if we solo that. So this sound came in and again that's got that's got all the mod delay on it you can hear how spacey that is but also I use the modulation effect I've got a low pass filter uh, on the insert effects and I've got the modulation on LFO triangle to modulate modulate the IFX so we've got a depth of around 50 and the speed speed is quite slow I think it's about 2 or 3 I think I had it on uh, original there so yeah so a speed of 3 so it's gradually evolving and it goes in and out of the mix so it's not just a sound that's always there and I've got this one slightly panned I think as well yeah I've got it panned over to the left again to just get it out of the stereo mix you know, in just a little bit out of the way of the vocals and the bass and stuff like that, just panned it over to the left hand side so it keeps it out of the way. So get that in with everything. <laughs> and also at that point, I came in with. Um, Another synthesizer, um, which was the Blue 2. So if we don't have a look at that, we'll just stop this a second. So you can see on Ableton there, I'll try and get it so you can see it. Um, I've got the uh, Vox on record, so it's uh, enabled, and also the Blue 2, but you can put it on in. For monitor if you wanted to that would be the same thing um, and so I've got the blue and I just went through the presets and literally just tweaked them uh, tweak the presets uh, I found this synth lead 
So if I was simply... And it sort of came up with this idea to just have a little bit of a break. And again, that's going through uh, the delay uh, in, on Arbleton and also reverb, quite a big space of reverb up there as well. So that's in the background. Yeah, so sort of like a slightly muffled. So it's not as sharp as the delay is, it's just sitting in the background. So, you know, and then put the delay on as well. So that's sort of like a stereo ping pong delay. And then, and then the effects actually from the blue as well. And we're there. We've got some effects on the. Uh, we've got a mod mono delay on that. I've got a HQ reverb on it as well. So it's, it's that layering of effects that gives you the, the depth of the sound. So forget that going in. some more elements that came in, another element that came into the track um, not long after that was the um, three, ba three bass 383 so I've got this nice little sort of gentle acid line it's just a really uh, this is on channel this is on channel 8 of the Sorry, the engine. It's fairly tin. Get that sort of hand over to the right, again, just to get it out of the way of everything. And then if you hear it with... Um, just mute all the other channels. If you hear it with the effects, I've got that going through the global reverb. I've also got the delay from the zoom and some extra control. I've got it going through the nod, which is a, a great little effect on the uh, chaos pad. I love the nod effects. They've got some nice. Let's see if you can hear this. It's quite subtle. Um, I think in hindsight, I would have actually uh, recorded some pad motion in there, you know. Uh, something like that, but... So you've got, it's another layer of just making it more interesting. So yeah, you've got the control of that. And that's programmed in on the uh, engine, just in the step sequence I use. I put an accent on the second note, so I've got a little bit of control. I've just given it some extra. But it just fitted so nicely with it, so I've got the rest of the track back in. And then I think the, the sort of the, the sort of final element to this, just move that. The final element to this was the uh, mini brute, uh, and just get for a little bit. Um, just a simple predator, which I've got an octave three, and it's just a. Uh, Um, see it sounds pretty raw as it is. Just 
You hear that, I've got that going through the um, all the effects again with the through the non effect. So you've got a quite a scale and also I uh, just turn it down a little minute. If we go to the um, LFO section, I've got that slightly filtered and slightly amped, and also the, the pulse width modulation and metalizer knob. Uh, I've got that, uh, uh, to, you can see that rate there, and it's on a triangle. So if I use the mod wheel now, modulation, you get like this sort of like reverse sort of sound which I really liked and and then I thought well if I'm singing and doing other stuff I can't be here twisting the knobs to try and alter the cutoff so if you've seen my setup video I've got the channel 2 working as a controller channel so this one uh, this CV is going to the filter so if we go to if we go to channel 2 which is enabled uh, and then we go into LFO mode and then I pin the LFO to the con this is the cutoff controller if I pin that now I've got some parameters in here I've got it in a triangle and then I've got um, alter this uh, and then I've got uh, the low part going down to 40 and the high part going up to sort of 75 and the length I've got it over 32 steps so again you can hear that sort of filtering up and down so it just gives it more interest you, you, it's not always there it's just in and out in and out uh, and again with the, with the other bits and pieces Not entirely in tune yet, and it needs to warm up. Uh, I've only had it on. A, I've only had it on about 10 minutes, but it just takes a little while to warm up. But that's you get the idea now, and that that's the last element of the track really. Um, I had touched on putting in some backing vocals using the APC as launched as clips, uh, but it's just a, it was just a first experiment really. So you know. It, it is what it is, but I, I hope that sort of helps you to understand how I went about things. Um, if there's any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll try to explain further um, anything that you need to know. So uh, I, think that, I think that's about it. So I'll just wrap up now and thanks for watching and please subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye now.